Hey, my name is Elijah and today I would like to show you how to install Antimedia server on Linode. Now, if you don't know, Linode is one of the, the best uh, VPS platforms on the internet. You can sign up for uh, uh, Linode and then you'll be given the $100 free dollar credit. Now, when you are just a new beginner or when you are a new subscriber, you can always get your free credit after signing up. It will automatically be allocated to your account and then you'll be given and you'll be allowed to deploy any server you want using the Linode uh, VPS platform. Now, in this tutorial, I'm assuming that you know how to sign up using Linode. Uh, if you don't know, this is how you go about it. You can sign up with your Google or Gmail or GitHub or any email address as long as you can access it for qualification. Now, in my Linode dashboard, I'm going to create a new Linode, and then you have to go to Marketplace, and then search for Antimedia. Now, we have two editions of Antimedia. We have the Community Edition and the Enterprise Edition. The Community Edition is basically a free version of the Antimedia software. This means that when you install this version, uh, you want to be charged for license. However, when you use Antimedia Enterprise Edition, you're going to charge you money for the license. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to use the Community Edition. Now, we need also to differentiate between uh, the software uh, costs and also the infrastructure costs. When you choose the Community Edition of Antimedia, won't charge you however Linode is gonna charge you for their uh, uh, infrastructure so this means that you when you select this version Antimedia is not gonna is not gonna charge you for their software because you're choosing the free version of, of their software but the, you will be you still pay for the infrastructure costs uh, depending on the size of the VPS you choose to deploy now let's go ahead. I'm selecting Antimedia Community Edition. Then I have to scroll down. I'll leave the image or the operating system to be as the one which is the default Ubuntu version 20.04. Now we go down and then select the region. You can select any region you want. From here, have the option of choosing which type of CPU you want or which type of machine or the size of machine you want to select so which you you're gonna use to deploy your antimedia server you can select a dedicated CPU machine however these are costly so depending on the size of your budget you can choose what is appropriate for you you can choose the shared uh, CPU or the dedicated CPU you should also remember that uh, the, the streaming servers always take some bit of resources so you have to select sufficient resources that correspond with your uh, streaming needs now we, um, for this case I'm gonna select the dedicated 4GB uh, which means 4GB of RAM and CPU cores when I go down here we're gonna select at this point have the option of uh, naming our antimedia server anything we want in this case I'm gonna name it antimedia server and from here we can put the root password for SSH we're gonna use this password to uh, access our antimedia uh, uh, remotely using the SSH terminal so I'm gonna put the password which is here my password is visible to you because at the end of this tutorial, I'll delete this instance. So it's, uh, it's, you don't have to worry about the security of my password. However, I encourage you that when you're creating such sensitive infrastructure, always keep your password in a secure place and don't expose them to other people who, who can abuse your infrastructure or even hack them. Now, I'm going to paste my password here. And this is the password we're gonna use uh, 
uh, for SSH. So I will paste it, paste it here. And then from here, uh, we don't have to do anything. You can go back and review your configurations before you, you launch the instance. So we've selected the free uh, community edition version of Antimedia. We are using Ubuntu 20.04. Select this region. You can select any region of your choice. And also I've selected dedicated uh, uh, instance which has 4 GB of RAM and 2 CPU of cores. From here, I've named my Antimedia instance as Antimedia Server. And then I've also put the password for root access uh, for SSH. From here, we are ready to deploy our Linode. When you create the Linode, it is basically provisioning and you have to wait for about five to six minutes for the provisioning to complete. From here, you can also copy the public IP address of your instance that is provisioning. So we're going to use this public IP address for two purposes. One, to access Antimedia Server Dashboard or Antimedia Server Admin Dashboard. And also, we're going to use the same public IP address for SSH login. Now, when we copy the IP address of our instance as it provision, we can also paste it in the browser here and also add uh, the cone. We add that cone, then put the default multimedia HTTP port, which is 5080. Now, when we try to load uh, this page, you will see that it's not going to work because the provisioning is still ongoing. So we have to still wait until the provisioning, provisioning completes. Okay, as you can see, our multimedia server, I mean, the, the server is now running. Now, to try out, like, we can try out to load if it's gonna work. So, it's not working because the required processes are still initiating. So, they are initiating in the background. Now, now you have to wait for a couple of minutes to be able to access the Antimedia server URL dashboard. Uh, from here, uh, let's try to SSH into this machine and see what is happening. Now, I have SSH configured on my Windows machine. So, I'll use my CMD terminal. You can use PuTTY or Tabby or anything of your choice. In this case, I'm using uh, this, uh, the, the SMD, uh, CMD terminal, which has SSH configured with it. So, I'll type SSH root at the IP address of my machine. So this is the IP address of my machine. Uh, this is the IP address. And also uh, root is the default SSH username for uh, servers, especially for Linode. Now we're going to use root as the username and then uh, this as a, the, the, the IP address. Now I can try to hit enter. Okay. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes. So I will type yes. From here, I'm going to put the password that I put in Linode when we were setting up uh, the instance. Now this is the password that I used. I can copy this password. And then I can Paste this password here and hit enter. Okay, let's try this one more time. Copy the password and okay, so it looks like my password 
is not working so i don't know let me try to copy it one more time and then um let's paste okay the password has worked now i need to clear this so this means that we are inside the server this means that we are inside the server we've deployed on Linux. if i try to run uh i can try to update the system by running apt update so it's gonna update uh, the packages for our Linux machine. It's working. So I can also check if Antimedia is running by running system CTL status service Antimedia. Okay, as you can see, uh, our Antimedia is running. So this is good. What we have to do is to go back to our browser and also try to reload this page. Okay, so the, the browser is working, which basically means that the server, the antimedia server has been installed and everything is working. Now we all we have to do is to create an account for our dashboard login so we do this by you can put your name so i'm gonna use john doe and also use a dummy email which is this one also i'm gonna uh use the same password you can use a different password it's up to you to choose so i'm gonna use this same password for root login and then i'll paste it here i'll paste it here then create an account you can save the password if you want let's try to log in okay that is it ladies and gentlemen our anti-media server has been installed on Linode. now you can access the, your server dashboard and also try to launch a stream by creating an app and then set up everything so i'll a different tutorial on how to use or navigate through Antimedia server dashboard and how to set up a stream and everything like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll leave a couple of important resources uh, related to this tutorial so you can read more about how to install Antimedia server. See you once again.